Hi guys! This is Ella from Budget Together. If you're new to the channel, I'm currently working on my city bank loan and first community cooperative loan. By the way, if uh, you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like uh, the content on this channel or if you like this video, please hit the thumbs like button. So now uh, we're going to do a budget for my second paycheck or and last paycheck for October October which will I which will be given to me on October 30 and this budget will cover the expenses and my investments for November 1 to 15 so let's start so this will be the category category and then I'll do this balance and then budget actual and total so for today we're only going to um, fill up the budget column for the balance we will do that together with the actual budget on the 30th so first on uh, first group we have investments or retirement I always put the investments or retirement because I want to me to pay myself first before paying my bills and expenses. So we have MP2. I put in letter A because this is the first, my very first MP2. Next year I will open another MP2 and I will and I will call it MP2B. So and then stocks. Crypto, Pera, it's personal equity and retirement account, and SSS Peso Fund. So, we're going to put in here NP2 500, stocks 500, crypto 300, Pera 500. SSS Peso Fund, 500. This with total, 2,300. Next item, cash envelope. Cash envelopes. First, we put in food, transport, and transportation, rent, electricity. I think you guys are wondering, I only have like four items here for cash envelopes. Food, transportation, rent, and electricity. I don't have, as well as on my second paycheck, I only have two categories, food and transportation. I don't have or I don't pay um, phone bill because the company provides that for me. I don't pay water bill because it in, it is included in my rent. What else I don't pay? I don't pay any subscriptions because uh, my boyfriend pays for the Netflix. And I only use that sometimes but still he pays for it. And then what else? So that's it. I don't have any other bills to pay. Except for my you will see on on november 15 onwards that um the amount that i pay for citibank and first community cooperative so yeah for food i budget 2500 
Transportation is 1,000. Rent is 3,600. And electricity, no. Um, rent is 3,600, but I only pay 3,500. I always put, like, I always have a buffer of, not always, I think this is the second time that I am having a buffer of 100. I am saving, like, every month little by little so that I could uh, by next year hopefully next year at least I could at least save one month rent because as you all know I, and I've already said in my previous videos that I plan to take a study leave next year so I am preparing myself for that so yeah for electricity I put in here 300 but I only pay 250 so as you can see on my previous video I think I have 450 set aside already so if plus this month there will be like plus 50 for this month so it will be like 500 so I have two months for electricity bills that is that I have already set aside so yeah if you total all of this let's total it again i know i've already uh added this before i just want to make sure so it's 2500 plus 1000 oh no two five Two five plus one thousand plus three six plus three hundred seven four seven thousand four hundred. Last item or last group is my sinking funds. Sinking funds. So I have e emergency fund, vitamins, supplements, eating out, spending, AA is for my boyfriend, laundry, clothes, Shoes and bags, medical and dental, electronics, car, and I have toiletries. Okay. For e emergency fund, I plan to put 100, vitamins 200, eating out 1500, spending 300, for my boyfriend 300, laundry I plan to put 100 clothes, shoes, and bags 200 medical and dental 200 as well mm, electronics 200 can you see and then car 200 toiletries 400 so if we add all of this one 100 plus 200 for vitamins 1500 for eating out 300 for spending 300 for my boyfriend 100 for laundry clothes 200 medical 200 electronics 200 car 200 toiletries 400 this is a total of 3,700 so yeah 
So grand total of this one, grand total, 3,700 plus, plus 7,400 plus 2,300, 13,400. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. And then by next time, that would be um, on putting the balances here and the actual budget and putting the total for each category. And um, I will do cash envelope stuffing as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs like button. And if you have any questions, please comment them down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!